All right, guys, today we've got one we've all been waiting for, and this is, inside this beautiful box, the Einscan HX by Shining 3D. Now, this is a very cool scanner. It's got lasers, it's got blue light, it's freehand, full color. Let's get right into it. So, first thing you're gonna notice is that it comes in this sweet cardboard box, but not really, because you're gonna open this right up and pull out the legit Pelican case that they've used to package it up. Oh yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. So if you're going around to clients or traveling with this stuff, it already comes in a case. Now the HX comes with this cage. The H does not, but it is purchasable separately. So keep that in mind. Let's uh, open it right up. All right, beautiful. So on the top here, <clears throat> We've got the Solid Edge Shining 3D Edition activation code. And there will also be a USB disc inside here. And this is a nice little pamphlet. And then we've got the packing list. So this is going to include the scanner itself, USB drive, power adapter, a power cable, a calibration board, position paper, and markers. And those are the little markers that you put all over the object, sometimes in certain modes of 3D scanning. Let's set that right aside. To avoid danger from suffocation, keep these bags away from babies and children. Okay, there's no babies or children here, so I think we're good. What is this? All right, let's check this out. This must, I'm guessing this is the calibration board. Oh, interesting. So this is probably the position paper. You can see through it, um, and it's got this marking on it here. We will be doing a video on the full calibration of this unit as well, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss when we come out with that in a few weeks. Okay, what is this beast here? Oh, this must be the calibration. All right, so if I open this up, this is what you use to calibrate the scanner to make sure it's accurate and it's getting the right image back. Uh, so that should be pretty sweet. Nice, it's got little magnets on the edges of the case. So this thing stays as is. All these little dots are actually highly reflective dots. And uh, it just goes and snaps together. That is cool. That is very nice. And then in here, oh, this is great. This is actually a cool feature of the new units. The USB plug and the power cable that hook into the actual scanner are separate. On some of the other units, they're integrated into the unit, so you've always got this cable hanging around, but this one's separate, and it looks like they've used very, very high quality uh, power plugs and whatever kind of connector that is, I'm not entirely sure. And then, of course, the USB 3.0 connector. You do want to make sure you have 3.0. Uh, or otherwise the scanner won't be recognized. Almost every computer since, what, 2005 has that? So you should be good. And we've got the Einscan PE. So this is some software that comes with the machine. And as you can see in here, everything's nicely cut. It's really well put together. Um, you've got the markers right here. Now these are basically little stickers that you can put all over objects when you're scanning them. So that comes in handy. I'll leave those there for now. These actually are, are a little beefier than the ones that come in the Einscan Pro HD. All right, we have a power cable, and it looks like they've included several, many different kinds of power plugs. Oh, this is sweet. Yeah, you got like the European one. You've got all these different adapters, so you can literally travel around the world with this thing and not worry about power or having a converter or anything like that. That is sweet. This takes 100 to 240, so you can use this anywhere in the world. That is very nice. All right. And I guess that just leaves the last and most awesome bit. So take this little cube out there, put that there for now, and we've got the actual scanner. Oh, yeah, new form factor, beautiful new casing, wow. It's significantly smaller than the HD. In fact, let me give you a, let me give you a direct comparison real quick. So this is the Einscan HD, 
uh, excuse me, the Pro HD, and this is the HX. So as you can see, I mean, that's like half this, half the size, half the actual mass. So why would you get the HX over the Pro HD or the H or any of the other options available? Basically, this unit is going to use a laser, a blue laser along with other light to measure and scan your object. Whereas the HD and the 2X and everything else uses just structured light. So what that means is if you're scanning dark objects or reflective objects or like perhaps chrome or something like that or anything shiny that's going to scatter light, this is the one you're going to want because it's actually using a laser point to scan and take that data in versus just structured light that's going to go everywhere. So you get really, really great results scanning reflective and dark objects that you can't really do without spraying the object or, or coating it in something light colored for most other scanners. So this is definitely uh, industry first. I think uh, at this price point, there's not many other laser scanners out there. Let's look at the controls real quick. So right here, we've got the USB plug-in and the power. And it looks like up here, we've got our start button. And that's what you use to control when it's scanning. Looks like you have some brightness buttons and then the up and the down. We're going to find out what all those do in the upcoming videos. Uh, very, very cool. It's got a good tactile feel to it. It feels very nice and solid. Now what you'll notice is the H scanner, this is the HX, the H is actually the same exact size, it's just a different color and it uses infrared light instead of the laser. This is, this is cool. Let's plug it in. You can see it does only go in one way. Now when I put it in, simply turn it, it's got a little arrow on the top there. Let's put the arrow to the side. Okay, it doesn't go in, doesn't go in, I rotate. It pops in and then that little sleeve is spring activated. So now I can't pull it out until I pull up that sleeve and then pull it out. All right, so we're connected, we're in there and you're scanning like this. Now, one thing to note is this doesn't work with the automated turntable. So if you've got hundreds of parts and you wanna automate the scanning of those parts and they're relatively small, about this big or so, uh, then the Pro HD or even something like the SE or SP might be more for you. Now, if that's not a concern, you can still use this with something like a Lazy Susan, spins around and you put your object on there and you can get the full scan that way too. Or you can walk around the object. Now this cord is about 10 feet, so you get plenty of walking space or you can have somebody holding your laptop while you walk around anywhere. Well, dude, I'm impressed. This is very cool from the case to the new form factor, everything else, this is really, really nice. Uh, we're gonna be doing all sorts of videos on scanning with this and calibration, but let me know down in the comments below right now. Take a second and let me know what type of things you'd like me to scan and show the whole process. Uh, we really listen to our audience and you guys help us make our content even better because we're just here to show you what you want to see realistically and uh, we really like hearing from you guys. Anyway, I think that's all I got for today. So hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed so you see the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.